Okay. Last time we went through a couple equity screens, um, kind of in our research of John Deere. This time I want to go through a couple more. Maybe maybe we can finish up equities in this video. Um, remember, we're in John Deere, so you, you type in at the top. I want to keep reminding you, just in case you forget, but D E. Click up here, DE equity, enter. Um, this one I want to go to EVT. Uh, this stands for company event. And this is always really helpful um, to get kind of the company's perspective on the main things that have happened um, in the last couple weeks, in the last couple weeks, or maybe the last couple months. Um, let's see. So this is the last earnings call. EC is for earnings call. Uh, we have a, a present the press release. We have the transcript, uh, kind of a summary, which is nice. Not all companies have this, but the big ones, uh, Bloomberg will put together um, not only type of the, the transcript, but also put up the summary, and then the audio is available. Um, if they have it, I'll try the summary and see what's uh, what's going on in the company. Let's see, earnings call. So um, read through this, kind of gives you in bullet format. The transcript can be a little wordy. Um, but always go through this and make sure it starts out with the highlights, kind of gets boring towards the end. I've listened to a lot of earnings calls, so um, you can kind of get kind of get the gist of them. And then after that, they start taking questions. These are always important coming from the sell side analyst. It really tells you what's important um, going on. Here's the question and answer section. Um, so read read through that as well. So. Kind of make sure you don't skip that when you're reading through these. So uh, that one was EVT. Uh, the next one I want to go to is beta. Uh, I'm sure most of you know the importance of beta when calculating your CAPM, uh, calculating the um, kind of the weighted average cost of capital, your cost of equity. And what's awesome is Bloomberg does this for you. Uh, they will kind of give you your raw beta, your adjusted beta. Uh, some of these you might have to learn in school. Or kind of get a refresher course, uh, Google them, but uh, it will it will give you the stock to look at. It'll also give you you can do it by a different index. The um, kind of the default is the S and P 500, but sometimes uh, you would want to change that and then do it by different years. So when you see a beta on Yahoo Finance, um, I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's five year beta or two year beta or ten year beta. Uh, kind of depends on what you want. If the company has significantly changed in the last, um, you know, five years, maybe I'll do a shorter time frame. Um, but if it's been a fairly stable company, maybe you'll get a little bit longer time frame to see what's going on. Uh, you can see this uh, raw beta is at 1.1. So maybe that's the one I would use if it's a five year. Maybe I want just the last one year. Um, and it's again, it's 1.17. John Deere hasn't changed much, but a lot of these companies uh, that have changed. Um, this will be different, but this is a great screen to look at um, if you're uh, looking for that. Um, another one I would use is relative value, RV. So uh, R is in Richard, V is in Victor. Um, this will give you kind of your comparable companies. And this is comparable companies uh, done by Bloomberg and kind of the uh, gives you an overview, kind of the market cap of different ones, and I'll go to the comp sheet and kind of get it will give you the PE ratios for a lot of these companies and where John Deere fits. Um, EV to EBITDA, EV to EBITDA next year's estimate, price to book ratios. Uh, these are all real, really important. It kind of shows you if they're undervalued or overvalued. Uh, I would be careful though. You can also always see the, you know. PE, oh, it looks undervalued compared to the average as well. This guy is kind of taking up a 94. So if you eliminate him, um, maybe John Deere looks overvalued compared to some of these. And then also make sure these are the same, similar companies. Some companies like, you know, for instance, Twitter might not have very many um, real comparables. So watch out for that as well. 